I have a visitor. Hi, Oz. <laughs> he decided he wanted to be on the bed today, so we'll see how long it lasts. Harley, you have to lay down if you want to be in the video, dude. Lay down. Hus, lay down. Lay down. Good boy. Okay. I have been putting off making this video for so long, you have no idea. I actually had this idea, I think, about a year and a half ago, and I had been accumulating a bunch of rings over time, and I just kept on finding more rings that I liked and having to wait for them to ship. The biggest disclaimer I have for this video is if you're interested in any of the rings I show you today, just know they probably are gonna take a month to a month and a half, maybe even two months to arrive. Just because they're from different parts of the world, a lot of them come from India. I didn't know this for, at the time, but like, shipping takes a long time to come to the US, let me tell you. I'm sure I could have like paid more for express shipping, but the one time I did do that ended up taking about a month and a half. So doesn't really matter what you do, it just takes forever. Today I have my little jewelry box. If you're wondering where this box is from, it's I think Michael's. And I don't think that they sell it anymore, which is so annoying because I'm always looking for glass cases like this. I just love them so much. It just opens up like this and I don't wanna tilt it too much because they'll all slide. But this is my ring collection. I think I have a few more, but they're older rings, they're not very nice. So these are just the ones that I like to display. And I have like a few earrings in here, a few necklaces, but mainly it's just all of my rings that I wish I wore more. <laughs> oh, I didn't even say hi. Hi guys, it's Vanessa. I got really excited for this video <laughs> and I just forgot to say hello. Uh, but today we are just going to be talking about my favorite chubby finger approved rings. <laughs> I have I think like 10 and a half or like 11 size fingers. They don't look like it but they chubby as fuck, okay? And it just kind of depends, like my ring size changes a lot because you know like I bloat because of salt intake or you know just like the time of it being summer my fingers get really swollen so it's impossible to find bigger size rings that are cheap shopping at the mall basically it's impossible to find bigger rings if you're wondering the big reveal of where I get my rings from. It is Etsy. They usually have the best ring size selection. Literally most of the time they go up to a size like 14 or 15 and that's including half sizes, quarter sizes, that kind of thing and it's just like amazing and I don't understand why other brands don't do this. Obviously Etsy is like small business owners so they can kind of do whatever they want at the end of the day they can size their rings however they want even when they don't have your size sometimes i will message them and say hey is it possible to do a custom size and most of the time they like get right back to you and they're like yeah sure what size do you need ah and it doesn't cost more to do that Oh, sorry, Haas, did I disturb you? He doesn't like it when I scream. Anyways, should I should I just show you guys what they look like? Because they're gorgeous. I definitely have like a ring style that I prefer. I usually go for rings that are kind of, oh, that's very tight. I'm trying to make it work, y'all. Uh, <laughs> my fingers are so swollen because it's so hot out. I tend to go for a certain style of ring. It's kind of like this gypsy-esque style. I know that a lot of people are offended by that word, but I guess boho, that's a better word. Boho inspired kind of um, ring. It's just like the keywords that I look up when I'm trying to find rings. Tomas, come on. 
fit on chubby fingers. A couple of these are older, so they don't fit me as well as they used to, or I can only fit them on certain fingers. Here are some of the rings that I have bought. Uh, these two are a little bit older. I wanted to get my nails done before shooting this video, but obviously I didn't. <laughs> so please ignore the nails. Oh, they're just so pretty. I love rings, which is why I'm so happy that I have this ring collection. I am going to try my very hardest to link everything that I can down below and also link my Etsy favorites page just so that if you're interested in my style, you know, you're like, oh, Vanessa's got the cute shit, then <laughs> you can head over there and check out all of my like burning desires for all of the rings, but I would be in so much debt if I bought. I just go through the different sellers. I feel like I've been rambling on, I'm so sorry. I took screenshots on my phone of all of the different ring orders that I have placed and I have spent a lot of money on rings, oh my god. Going in order of when I bought these gorgeous rings, like the first one that I ever bought was this beautiful shell one right here and this one was $45, which is not too bad. I would say that most of my rings range from about 20 to 50. I don't really like to pay that much for rings. It's just not my vibe. Like, I want something that's cute and affordable. So I can't pronounce this name, but I will put it right here. The seller is, I believe, from Australia. So this took two months to get to me from Australia, but I totally understand. You wanna leave now? You're tired of auntie talking? That is the first one. Soon after I got this horn one, which is like a double-sided horn ring. This one was very inexpensive. It is from the Etsy shop Jewelry RB, and it is very affordable. This is only $22, and it's so stunning, and I believe they make a range of sizes, so I've kind of debated on getting a bigger size just because it's like my fingers have gotten bigger uh, over the years and it is impossible to take this off now. Great. Love this one with all of my being. I think it's my most worn ring. Let's just pop it on my pinky. That's a lot better. Moving right along. This is the really annoying thing about Etsy shops is sometimes they just disappear. And I don't know if it's because they end up making their own website or they end up, you know, not making enough money so they delete their store. Some of my rings, I can't give you guys a link because the seller isn't available anymore. They literally don't have a shop. And I was so disappointed that these two rings are not available anymore. I will try to link some stuff that is similar. My voice is so annoying. So what I love about Etsy is that they have such unique styles. Like, look at this, it's gorgeous. This is actually a gem. I can't remember the name of this. Oh, it's Citrine. Yeah, this is Citrine. And I think this is Moonstone. I have a ton of Moonstone rings just because they're really popular. But I love how chunky this is. Kind of like elongates your fingers, which I need. I have very tiny hands. They're very small. I, They're pretty much child hands. <laughs> Moving along before I keep talking about these because you can't get them. <laughs> oh, I'm really excited about talking about the next one. It is from the Epsi, Epsi. It's from the Etsy shop. I am E jewelry. I asked them if they could make two rings, one for me and one for my sister. And it was my Christmas present to my sister. This looks like a gold band, but it actually has my name on it. It says Vanessa. Obviously my sister's has her name. She's always been somebody who liked having her initials or her name on her jewelry. I just thought it was fitting to get this little ring 
for me and her and she always wears it and it's like the cutest thing ever and it wasn't too expensive I forgot to tell you the prices of the other ones yeah it was only $40 not that bad if you ask me this is my fake engagement ring <laughs> I wear this sometimes and then you know I always think like if somebody I don't want to talk to is like trying to hit on me I would just be like oh no I'm engaged <laughs> that's so fucked up but that's what I think of I bought this for myself for my 23rd birthday I was like I'm gonna buy myself a ring I don't need no man no woman to buy me a ring I'm gonna buy me a ring because I want it that bad this is my first style of this type of ring and it's so gorgeous and I want like a hundred million more of them because it's so unique and interesting looking so this is a pear crown ring and it's a vintage style so it doesn't look like anything else that I have in my collection hopefully you guys can see it is very dainty I think it's like the smallest ring I have in my collection it's just so pretty I can't remember if it's an actual diamond it is very teeny tiny so it might actually be I can't remember I just had like a special connection the second I saw a picture of it I was like that's mine like that needs to be on my hand ladies this one is $60 which if, if that was my engagement ring I would actually be happy if this was my engagement ring even though it's only $60 it looks very beautiful maybe if it was a little bit bigger a little bit bigger that would be like my engagement ring yeah. future partner just letting you know this is the style I like. <laughs> then I made a big order on this Etsy shop. I can't pronounce this one either. What is up with these weird names? Okay, this is called Schwickster, I think. Schwickster. And they have very simple, dainty designs as well. I ended up buying four rings from this Etsy shop just because they were so affordable. It's one of those shops where I was in love with all of them. I was like, oh my God, it's so hard to pick. I might even get some more. And this one has the quickest shipping I have ever seen. I believe she is based in the US. I was like, they came in under a week. <laughs> I was like, hell yes. Yeah, I'm gonna go back for more. Don't sell it out in my size, please. I still need to get some more. I showed them on my Instagram story and so many people were like, where are those from? Give them to me now. I need that in my life. Like my thumbs, what do I do with these? I love this. I think it's a really cool design with the added little... Um, I don't know how to describe that like a little bead at the top I don't know of course again she has tons and tons of sizes like anything you can think of I think it's just because she makes them herself and so like I don't think it's that hard to make different sizes of rings so I really appreciate that I think when you have a good product you should have it in every size available like come on that goes for clothes that goes for rings that goes for anything and if you're not you're really missing out on a bigger demographic if if you ask me like you're missing out on a huge market so that is one of my most favorite shops if you were to pick out anything I would definitely recommend her shop now I have a very much a love hate relationship <laughs> with the next Etsy shop. I have never been one of those customers that is like constantly asking for updates on when it's shipping, like bugging the person like, hey, has it shipped? Like, hey, I don't have the tracking. Like not that you're wrong in doing that, but that's just not my style. I just wait and you know, <laughs> I'm a little lazy okay I I'm lazy and I don't message people very often I'm just like oh I'll show up but with this seller I wanted them so bad I paid extra shipping to get them expedited to me and I wanted to make this video so I was planning this video like fucking 
three months ago and I <laughs> I asked the seller I was like okay can I get expedited shipping and she was like yeah no problem um, and she did tell me that some of the stones weren't available so it was gonna be a little bit longer until they could make it how long will that be and she was like oh yeah it'll only be like an extra week yeah it didn't turn out that way <laughs> it more so turned into two months until i received them i believe that they're based in indonesia like near bali and that just means it's gonna take a long time to get to me so i totally get it but she made it out to make it seem like oh they're coming to you like they're coming and then I got a shipping notification that they were shipped and then there was no follow-up on like the tracking so I asked her like hey do you have the tracking she was like oh yeah it's fine and then like two weeks later she's like no I don't have the tracking on it and then two weeks later she was like oh it's shipped now and I'm like what I thought it already shipped are you telling me that it hasn't shipped it's been two weeks <laughs> warning caution if you proceed to want to buy any of these gorgeous rings that i show you just know that i have given you forewarning that they are extremely difficult to get your hands on and shipping is a pain in the ass that's my disclaimer so in total i bought five rings from this etsy shop now some of them are sets so it has multiple rings like this is actually two rings this is two rings and then I bought this one to go on to this set they're beautiful I love them I would say my least favorite is this one I just don't think it's that cool in person they definitely took a better photo of it I wanted this ring in particular so badly I have wanted something like it for such a long time with everything my total was $226 which for five rings, I think that is a steal. I see so many online shops now, and of course theirs are like real diamonds and stuff, and that's why they're so expensive, but one ring will go for like $500. And I'm like, I don't have that kind of money to just like blow on one ring, one. Was it worth it because I love these? yes oh no she is from delhi india okay not indonesia delhi india now to go on to some miscellaneous ones because i have more i have six more rings to show you i can't remember where a couple of these are from i will try to link something similar down below so starting from this side i think this one is from etsy but i cannot remember the seller and they're probably not available anymore the middle one is from new york this one on my ring finger is also from etsy i don't think the seller is available anymore but i just love the more raw looking crystal all three of these are from amazon i have seen a ton of these infinity rings and i wanted to get one for myself it isn't very comfortable to wear but i think it was only around like 15 dollars and then the middle one also from amazon it's just a little knot very dainty simple and this one is a heart if any of you watched gossip girl you know that blair wore a little ruby ring that was heart shaped it was everything it was iconic and <laughs> i wanted it so bad everything else just looked so ugly and this was like the best one i could find and it was from amazon and i believe it was 20 dollars. so i hope that they still have it if you're interested something that i meant to mention at the beginning of this video is this and it's a little ring sizer i got one from i think like zales or something and they just gave it to me because they're super nice I think you could print out a paper version of it it will just like help you out trying to figure out what size you are didn't know that these existed and I was so happy when they gave me one that is it for me and my rings I hope this was a little bit helpful if you guys are looking for some rings and you don't know where to get them because 
Um, a lot of jewelry places are not chubby girl fingers approved. Love you guys so much and until next time, bye.